Hello, and welcome back to Let's Make Merly, a character for the Kickstarter video game Grey Skies Dark Waters. Uh, in the previous episode, I uh, went ahead and blocked out all of the basic materials on Merly, and in this one, I kind of want to go in and make this face look uh, not so bad. <laughs> so, not quite sure, I don't have a plan of action. Uh, my ZBrush workflow is super kind of like worked out, kind of got a lot of stuff figured out, um, and my texturing workflow is a bit more improvisational. So, with that said, just be warned, I'm gonna try and see what I can do, make out of this face. Um, we're going to do that, let me just go ahead and open up my Pure Ref and grab that face that I was using to sculpt her as well. So, she looks a lot more pale. I'm going to actually change and get a bit of a different HDR as well. Yeah, I like this one a lot more. Let's see, get that base skin maybe extra pale. I really like that little bit of lipstick she has on. Definitely want to keep that. So maybe, since that seems to be the most apparent thing, I think I'm gonna make another layer uh, group and just call this painting. And then let's see if I have a lipstick material. Maybe. I've got plastic gloss, but I think I can kind of set that myself. Um, that basic color a bit more reddish. Let's see what kind of new brushes. They, they basically... They said Substance Painter 2 had a ton more brushes. Well, I don't really see any that I don't recognize. I guess they have a lot more alphas, that's for sure. This one? Ah, that's cool. So I can really set a lot more of the alphas. Okay, but right now I'm not really even interested in getting some sort of a fancy alpha whatever going. I'm really just interested in blocking out this lipstick. Maybe this is the right brush, I don't know yet. Uh, definitely want it to be a lot more glossy, so I'm gonna take that roughness down. Let's try and get a base for the lipstick here. I don't like this brush so much. Gotta say, don't like this brush so much. Maybe the default soft. Oh goodness, she looks like a Russian doll, which I guess that is, but, um, well, this is not how I was hoping for it. Uh, symmetry. Ah, uh, eraser. Rush. Let's see here. So I'm just gonna get this nice, real even shape there. Yeah, definitely enjoy that. I'm debating about whether to make it a mask or whether to just let's see what I can do with just an adjustment layer for now. Go add another add to the levels to the roughness since that just it's a bit too much for my taste. That's looking good. All right, now another thing that's really bugging me is the 
these eyebrows. So I'm gonna actually go right ahead, switch to these eyebrows, and see what I can do. So I've got, last time I kind of did a really, really basic layer where I, um, blocked out everything. But I think what I want to do now is really go in and, and actually paint paint them. So I'm gonna take this one down so it's just kind of like gives me an orientation of where I want to draw. And then switch to my, um, I know I do have a hairbrush downloaded. I'm kind of see how much, what I can do with this brush. Now I want to take the height a little bit up because I, I, I do one of the big things about Substance Painter is that you're drawing all the channels at once. So I do kind of definitely want to be drawing that. And I want to paint the opacity. Alright, that's looking alright, but I'm still a little hesitant. Uh, first off, I want to change my texture size. Where is it? Do, 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 do. Texture set settings. Uh, just, this can be 512. Do not need that much. That's looking better. And take this base color down to like a dark brownish. And that's already giving me a very hair like appearance here. Very softly. Kind of going over it. I wonder if I can turn off this solo flickering somewhere. Because it is really starting to annoy me. Spices. Um, hmm. Let's see what it looks like now. Okay. Yeah. Gonna add a little bit more in general. Yeah, really like that. Now that the eyebrow is kind of work it out a little bit. I think actually I'm gonna erase a little bit from that at the beginning there. Just to thin it out a bit more because look looking at it from far away that was just it's just a little bit too much. I'm actually going to uh, do an overall just kind of taking the opacity down. Nope, not that much. Um, but what I can do... Take my flow down. Just do a real soft... Just kind of really soften that out. Yeah. I like that. Now, same thing for the eyelashes. Got that blocking layer. I'm gonna just take that opacity, take it down a bit, and add a new layer that's gonna be painted. Grab a drink of my Coke. And switch back to my number one brush. The hotkey for the brush is number one, that's why I was just saying that. And let's just add some eyelashes. And I can tell, see how... Um, I, I, what I have to really commend Substance Painter with right now, and what I'm really surprised with is how fucking well the painting's going. Um, 
I was like, it used to have a lot more lag to the point where you wouldn't even really be able to paint in this fashion. But they really seem to have um, added some mega, mega improvements. Uh, undo back. Uh, unfortunately, the undos are not quite speedy. But that's a small thing. I can forgive that. Actually, I'm going to go in and smooth my stroke a bit. Show symmetry plane, mirror X. And turn on lazy mouse. Hmm. Kind of not giving me that which I desire. this back away. Race away, you race away. Why is it not racing away? Why is it not? Eh. Da -da. Try just doing that regular. I'm gonna actually take this fill layer and take tell it to give it everything a little bit more opacity, just so I can see what I am painting on exactly. Now I'm going to go back to my regular brush and... Hmm... Where'd that hairbrush go? There we go, this should do it. Still don't know if I am a fan of the size of these eyelashes. I might go in, I might do it and just make them manually, but I'm not quite there yet. Oh god, the undo is definitely taking a while still. So, basically, I'm gonna uh, leave it at They've made some improvements to Substance Painter, but it could still use a ton of work, especially concerning performance. Hmm. Oh, that's giving me a really nice effect, just going kind of like back and forth. Even though eyelashes don't really zigzag like this and all natural, it's really giving me a lot more oomph. So I want that oomph. And I might just go back in with the eraser and then take out that. Yeah, definitely like this. I'm gonna have to adjust more uh, later in in the in Blender in the 3D app. Ah, the undo! Holy cow! I'm gonna get a drink while it undoes it. Nice. Here we go. Now, I'm going to switch to my eraser, and I just kind of want to dig in and erase some of these lines. Oh, that's too much. That is too much. Uh, let's take that flow down to like nothing. Just to get a little bit more variety in here. Yeah.
Oh, okay. And now back to the bottom. I really like how it's building up the stroke. That is something that I am really starting to appreciate. Just need to get these these hookies at the end of the uh, lash stroke. Need to get them to be real straight. So maybe ah, I'm gonna try it again with lazy mouse. Now what's really important is that she gets a bit of <coughs> eyeliner uh, along her uh, eyes. So this is, was the lipstick. Let's add another layer and call it the eyeliner. And now let's see if I can find a nice picture of some eyeliner with my Russian model girl. She doesn't wear a lot, but I think still gonna have to put a little bit in there or just some sort of a color variation. Yeah, there's very little eyeliner. Seems to be some along here. I just use this as kind of a bit of a color reference. And this is going to be, I'm gonna go with this a little kind of a purple. Take that nice dark, rough. And unruff it and make it a little metallic, sure. Um, darker, not quite so metallic. Take the height down to zero. See, what is my texture set here? It's also 2K, which I am gonna really try and stay within the 2K border for this. Oh, I know, my flow is real low. And this needs to be a pretty damn hard stroke. So I'm actually gonna go with my default hard brush, take it way down. Oh, and of course the SSS is acting up. So there's that. But I'm gonna see how much I can do just here. I like that a lot, but it needs to be redone. I'm gonna just delete that and add that layer again. Eyeliner. Somehow, I think, like, I don't think I quite perfectly placed the eyelashes when I was making them in Blender. I'm just gonna switch to the new uh, full on work mode.
Yeah. Add a little bit more in there. I think now what I'll do is I'll just add some of that um, kind of red lipstick but kind of like a fleshy thing on the inside of your eye. So I'm just going to go with a pink color for that, a little bit more of that and it gives it a little bit more roughness though not that much obviously. That looks a way too much like some sort of strange, strange makeup. Let's see if a bit darker red will help. Yes, that gives it a little bit more variety, but... It's... Ah! Take everything back a bit. Yeah, I think it'll just need some adjusting. Um, in the three, yeah. Which I don't think I will do right now, but I'll do it later. No. Let's see here. Sharpie. Take my roughness up, add a little bit of a just darker eyeshadow, and take that flow down a ton. Eyeshadow. I am no makeup artist. That must be said. So we'll see how this goes. Just to give her a bit of eyeshadow. Well, the darker and a bit purpler. Yeah, just a tiny bit of that. I like that. Now I'm gonna add another layer for the eyebrows. Because I want to kind of draw them underneath the eyebrows that we have here. So that the eyebrows here don't seem so floaty. Now for that I'm gonna take a dark brown color. Like that. Take my height a little up. Uh, roughness. Take that down and switch back to my hairbrush. Hairbrush, uh -huh. because it's a hairbrush. Oh, I've got a lot less resolution here, but I think that adding some in is just gonna help it in general. Switch to my eraser, kind of clean it up. It's amazing how much of a difference that little bit of resolution makes. Let's take the specular down a little.
There we go. Gives it a little bit more depth. Now, let's see what we can do. Might be able to try adding a paint layer to this mask. Let's see. would be the SSS layer. If I just kind of paint on this, I should be able to get a lot of the redness. I'm gonna go with a kind of a... Let's see where this leather goes. I think maybe color dot is just a little bit too... I think I make it a soft light. take that down a lot to get kind of a good default value. Then I can take away from in areas where I want her face to be lighter and then add to it in areas. I'm just kind of using this leather brush because it's got such a nice texture. Just kind of going to go a little back and forth here. Give her a little bit more definition. Put some red in between. There we go. I like I love painting masks because I can just use X to switch back and forth between adding and subtracting, which is a really nice little feature. I think the next step is going to be just to uh, make a bit more of an adjustment layer for her mouth. somehow. So I can get it to get a little redder. Oh no, she looks like a drug victim. <clears throat> now 
now it's starting to come together. Yeah. I was getting a little scared there. To the lipstick and break up this a little bit. Whatever this is. I'm gonna just add the hairbrush, kind of take the height down this time. thing I'm gonna do is draw in some wrinkles. Now they're gonna have to be very minimal because well at that age you just don't have a lot of wrinkles but she's been through so much inner pain and turmoil that um, it would be just wrong to resist wrinkles. So let's see here. I think I'm gonna go with a default soft. Too big, too big, too big. See how small I can make this. Too big, too big. Angle. Hardness is at zero. Mm -hmm. See if I can get a smaller, smaller alpha. Doesn't look like it. Maybe this chalk. Nope, that is not helping at all. Maybe if I take that chalk and turn on follow path. Nope, that is not helping either. I think I actually had a brush just for this point. What I want is something that works like the Damien standard. So, sharp line maybe? Nope, that is too jagged. -y. Sharpie 2 maybe? Nope. Sharpie wires, chuck smoke brush, spots. Stitches, nope. And we're in the special brushes. Hmm. Oh, 
Well, I guess I'll just have to figure one out from these pre-existing brushes. <clears throat> Maybe I could take something like this artistic brush here and add uh, an alpha to it. Yes, that is a that is an idea, David. But I don't know how much that will help. Um, I just want to get these small folds. So what can I do? Well, what I guess I could do is export the alpha from ZBrush. So I guess I'll go ahead and do that. I do believe I had a brush at some point for Substance Painter which worked like a Damien standard, and the way I did it was to take a really, really small um, regular brush, just take that size down all the way. But the problem is that if you take the size down too far, Substance Painter will die, literally. Like, your project will, at least my project, was unopenable at that point, which really sucked. But if I take the hardness down nearly completely, I might be able to get some nice results and I'll take the I might not even need to go into ZBrush and export my alpha I'm gonna turn on height turn off metal yeah maybe this will work give it a shot Take the height, make the height actually go down, and then make it a little darker. Hmm, yeah, that's not too bad. I still look creepy as shit. I'm gonna actually go into the pupil and add a paint layer. Just to add some veins and get it not look like uh, veins and like more more even just like an ambient occlusion so that it um, doesn't look quite as uh, ghosty. Ah, uh, hell. Maybe this will help. All the brushes are always so large. Why? Help me. Bark. I'm just experimenting with a bunch of different brushes, trying to get a bit of a ambient occlusion effect around the eyeball. I'm actually going to switch to a much redder red. See if I have some veiny alpha here. Mm. 
I'm gonna switch my eraser and just take that artistic eraser. Oh goodness, oh goodness. She looks like she is possessed. This is not the intended result. Wish the flow wouldn't by default be all the way up. Oh my goodness, no. Flow. There we go. Okay, let's see what other stuff we have here in the AO size. Color. I'm gonna go in and draw a couple of really small veins in a vein slayer. And for this, I'm just gonna. There's my material. Let me take a color. Wait, what is going on? Do I or do I not have the ability to paint? Uh, what? Color. I'm painting. I want to paint color here. It's one of those moments where I just feel like saying, "Hello, substance. What is going on? Why am I not? Did I make the wrong layer? Did I? I did everything right. Color. <clears throat> hmm. Very odd. It says no material, but I also don't have any spot to plug anything in. Oh, I'm on the eraser, that's why. Oh, there we go. Now, let's get back to what we were actually doing. Is this, make it real small. And let's just take the height up and out of it a bit. Take my flow down a ton. And just add some. I'm gonna make these major league not quite as visible in a second. I just feel like there's a lot of noise going on in that eyeball. Maybe I can make a layer just to lighten it up. I'm gonna make this a screen. Take that base color to make this white. saturated just so it looks a bit like it is <coughs> take my shadow again and push this bag
something odd with the shape going on right there in that place where I'm now swiggling, but well, I think that's as close as I'll get for now. There's something really odd going on with that shape. Alright. Well, I feel like we made a little bit of progress on sculpting the face. Um, it's definitely not as far as I want it to be. I'm just gonna go in here and try and put a quick... Eh, whatever. Hair looks fine. Um, actually. Yeah. I think I'm going to say I am happy with this for now and uh, start a next le me uh, lesson, next session, uh, kind of go more in depth, maybe even go back to the 3D app and adjust uh, some of these vertices and shapes because it's my... Hold on, I just had an idea, I had an idea, and I had an idea, and I had an idea. Maybe if I take this UV offset and just... Oh, no, no, no. Maybe I can take it inward just a tad. No, 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 no. That is not gonna help. Yeah, they just need to be, I think I just need to move them in. Because they're, they're, she's looking a little cross-eyed. And I don't want it to look cross-eyed. Also, this sweater is doing crazy shit on the camera, wow. Anyway. If you enjoyed watching me sculpt the face, maybe you had some cool ideas, maybe it was completely boring to you. Um, give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and if not, just give it a dislike and let me know why in the comments. Uh, either way, I am happy and thank you that you watched, uh, and I'll see you next time.